Note: The following video depicts a specific configuration of the notebook. The same removal and replacement procedures apply to all configurations of the notebook. Before you begin, remove the display panel assembly. Removal. Remove the three 3 mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the audio board to the display enclosure. Remove the audio board bracket from the alignment pins on the audio board. Lift the audio board off of the alignment pins and slide the connectors out of the cutouts in the display enclosure. On the bottom of the audio board, use minimal force to lift the locking bar up on the volume button board ZIF connector and disconnect the volume button board ribbon cable from the audio board. Caution! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the audio board ZIF connector and disconnect the audio board ribbon cable from the audio board. Caution! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the USB ZIF connector and disconnect the USB ribbon cable from the audio board. Caution! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Place the audio board in a static dissipative bag. Replacement Remove the audio board from the static dissipative bag. On the bottom of the audio board, insert the USB ribbon cable into the USB ZIF connector on the audio board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Caution! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Insert the audio board ribbon cable into the audio board ZIF connector on the audio board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Caution! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Insert the volume button board ribbon cable into the volume button board ZIF connector on the audio board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Caution! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Tow the external connectors on the audio board into the cutouts in the display enclosure and lower the audio board onto the alignment pins. Place the audio board bracket onto the alignment pins on the audio board. Replace the three 3 mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the audio board to the display enclosure.